Hello, today in this video we're going to look at Elm, a new programming language I've been dabbling with recently. In particular, we're going to chat about three interesting ideas I've come across in Elm so far. Signals, pure functions and immutability. So Elm is built for building reactive user interfaces. What that means is we build user interfaces where we have to deal with things like the user clicking, uh, data changing, or a lot of different things could change at any one time. To do this, Elm introduces the concept of signals. These are values, but they're values that can change over time. So whereas in JavaScript we're used to having a variable like x that might be set to a number 4, in Elm we might have a signal of values and it will be a number that will change over time. For example, in Elm we have a signal representing the user's mouse position. If we wanted to, to change the colour of the page depending on when the user's mouse was, we can listen to that signal of values. What this means is you can, you can deal with these signals and these values as if they're normal values and when one of them changes, Elm will rerun all the code it needs to so your application is up to date. This makes it really easy to deal with user input and reactivity in Elm because it's natively dealt with in the language for you. So a pure function is a function that has to take all the data it needs as arguments. It also can't reach out to grab any extra data that it might need. We have to explicitly pass it what it needs. What this means is that if we give the function the same arguments, it will always give us the same output. This is really handy because it means it's much easier to debug things. We lose the risk of coming into a whole class of bugs where we're modifying external state or external data that the function doesn't have access to. Functions can't reach out and modify anything else, so they're much easier to work with, much easier to debug, and there's less chance of you introducing bugs when you write these functions. Finally, all data in Elm is immutable. What this means is once we've declared some data and stored it, we can't then go back and change it. This is a common source of bugs in applications. In JavaScript, for example, if you have a regular object, you can change values and properties in that object as and when you please, and any function can do it. This means it's really hard to track down a bug if that object has changed. You don't know what's changed that object or what function has messed with it. In Elm, every value is immutable, so you can't update an existing object. You always get back a new object. What this means is that we eliminate any chance of bugs around mutating objects entirely. They're just gone because Elm doesn't let you do that as a language. This means you know that once you have an object with some data, that object is always going to have that data and no function or anything can, can ever mess with it. This means it's less likely that you're going to run into the sort of bugs typically caused by mutation. So Elm's a relatively young language, but I've really enjoyed playing with it so far and I'm excited to see what the future holds for it. I'd love to hear what you think about the language. Feel free to leave us a comment below or drop us a line on Twitter.